I'm Dave, and this is Austin Eats. I do a lot of smoking in my Kamado Joe. One of my subscribers suggested that I mix it up a little bit and do something different, something sweet. Specifically, smoked chocolate chip cookies in the Kamado Joe. Why not? I'm up for a challenge. Ellie, thanks for the suggestion. This one's for you. Let's get cooking. So first I'm going to sift together the flour, some baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Just mix that around and set it aside. Then in the blender, I'm going to add the butter, the sugar, the brown sugar, and the vanilla extract, and blend that together. And then I'm going to add the egg and let that blend in. And then finally, add the flour mixture. Once the flour is incorporated, then it's time to stir in some pecans and chocolate chips. Give that a quick stir, and we're ready to make some cookies. I'm going to do these on parchment paper to make them easy to get off. Time to light up a barbecue. So I've refrigerated the cookie dough for about 30 minutes to help them maintain their shape when they hit the hot oven. Now inside the barbecue they go, and we're going to cook these for about 10 minutes. Actually, it took me longer than that, more like 20 minutes. And I think that's because the cookies were so cold. But that's okay. The end result was absolutely fantastic. So I ran into several problems in making these cookies that I want to tell you about. This is the diffuser that goes into the bottom of my Kamado Joe. It's very similar to the diffuser that you would find in a big green egg. It's designed to protect whatever you're cooking above from the intense heat from below. So as the fire burns, it hits the bottom of this and the hot air flows up around the outside. I decided not to use a traditional cookie sheet for making these cookies because I was concerned that there was no edge on two sides to protect the edge of the cookies. So I opted to use a jelly roll pan. I decided that the raised edge would protect the edge of the cookies. Not so much. The cookies on the edge of the pan were overdone and the ones in the four corners were actually burned on the bottom. The reason is that the jelly roll pan hung over the edge of my diffuser. That allowed hot air to come up and hit the edge of the pan and make this part of the pan in the four corners significantly hotter than what was in the center. That overcooked the cookies. The solution to that problem is to use a smaller pan. Now this takes longer because you have to do more batches, but in using a pan this size, there is no overhang on any of the four corners. The entire surface of that jelly roll pan will maintain the same temperature throughout the cooking cycle and the cookies will be a lot better. That's the solution to the problem. And that's how we smoke chocolate chip cookies in Texas. A special thanks to my wife for teaching me how to make chocolate chip cookies in the first place. I barbecue. I don't really make cookies. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you liked the video and please subscribe. I've got new videos coming out a couple times a week. See you next time on Austin Eats.